headmistress of the Panchayat Union Middle School at Palakkarai in Perundurai Union, Tamil Nadu, was placed under suspension on Thursday for forcing five SC students to clean the school toilets. The issue came to light when the mother of a student lodged a police complaint on Wednesday. According to police, S. Jayanti, a grade 5 student's mother, told that H.M. Geeta Rani had made her son clean the school toilet. National Investigation Agency, NIA, took over the November 19th pressure cooker blast case in an auto rickshaw in Mengaluru. The passenger identified as Mohammad Sharik was carrying a cooker bomb made from improvised explosive device, IED. NIA took over the case after the Counter-Terror and Counter-Radicalization, CTCR, a division of Ministry of Home Affairs, handed over considering a terror plot. The whole world has rejected communism. Even countries like China rejected it as its impractical and failed ideology. Last island where communism is still alive is in Kerala, says BJP MP and Yuva Morcha chief Tejasvi Surya in Kannur, Kerala. But looking at the kind of response, energy and change that young people of Kerala are showing today, I can give you in writing that very soon, communism and communist parties will be in the dustbin of history even in Kerala. The Jawaharlal Nehru University, JNU, Vice Chancellor, condemns exclusivist tendencies after campus walls found defaced with slogans. JNU Vice Chancellor Shanti Sri D. Pandit's statement was in reaction to an incident of vandalism where the walls and faculty rooms in School of International Studies, SIS, JNU, were vandalized with anti Brahmin slogans. Indian women's cricket squad will play their first of five T20I matches against Australia on December 9th at the D.Y. Patil Stadium, Mumbai. Harman Preet Kaur will lead the 15-member squad, while star batter Smriti Mandana would play the role of her deputy. Thank you for watching Chanakya. Stay tuned for more updates.